I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. He and I went back from the inaugural stand to the Oval Office. And it was the first time he'd been in there and sat down at that desk as President of the United States. And here was the guy that I'd known for all those years, knew he could be president, knew he'd be a great president. But here he was, the president, for the first time. And uh, he put his hands on the desk and he looked at me and he said, have you got goosebumps? Ronald Reagan and all of us Reaganites started out trying to change our country. And we wound up changing the world. He changed the environment, uh, the political environment uh, in Washington and in the nation. He restored America's pride and confidence in itself. He made us proud again. He put us all back in uniform, those of us in Washington who had taken the wearing civilian clothes. And for the first four years of his administration, he put the resources into the volunteer army. And he gave us the weapons we need, not to become an aggressive nation, but to become a strong nation. And behind that strength, his diplomacy would work and did work. Most people run because they want to be something. Reagan ran because he wanted to do something. It is time to reawaken this industrial giant, to get government back within its means, and to lighten our punitive tax burden. And these will be our first priorities, and on these principles, there will be no compromise. He took on some uh, tough issues uh, where public opinion, particularly the news media, was very much against him, where Congress was an obstacle, uh, such as uh, being, standing up to the Soviet Union rather than the detente uh, philosophy which, uh, under which we were losing the Cold War. He said, I'd like to sit down with the Soviet leader and just talk man to man and try to find out what's bothering them and to see if we couldn't ease those tensions and somehow make this a more peaceful world. Communism could not be tolerated. It had to be defeated. And uh, so he defied conventional wisdom, and he rejected the status quo. He rejected the Iron Curtain. And in the process of pursuing that clear vision, uh, millions of people were freed from tyranny. Uh, millions of people uh, are experiencing freedom, and uh, it changed the world. Gorbachev was expressing frustration about his troubles changing the then Soviet Union. And Ronald Reagan said, don't you understand? The key is to get the people on your side and keep the people on your side. And in America, the people were always on Ronald Reagan's side. I always thought being an American meant never being mean or small or giving into prejudice or bigotry, that it did mean trying to help the other fella and working for a world where every person knows freedom is both a blessing and a birthright. Uh, he, when he took office as president, he knew where the country should be going economically. At one of the times when we had the worst economic crisis really since the Great Depression. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. President Reagan was a transformational president. Uh, he changed uh, the character of the debate, particularly with respect to some economic issues, particularly the issue of taxes and the issue of a strong defense. When we came into office, the top marginal tax rate uh, was 70 percent. Uh, Uncle Sam was taking 70 cents of every top dollar that Americans earned. We uh, were successful over the course of two terms in reducing that 
top rate to 28%. He rebuilt our military. He restored uh, the military's pride and confidence in itself, as well as the nation's pride and confidence in itself. And, and I think that is continuing uh, till today. He really worked it very hard and one-on-one uh, -on -one with members and really developed, I think there was a strong rapport with people like the Speaker of the House, Tip O'Neill. They had a very warm relationship and those, those relationships paid off over time. He became an effective leader because through native ability and constant practice, he learned how to say unpleasant things pleasantly. That's why people still call him the great communicator. My greatest dream for them, that they would always find here in America a land of hope, a light under the nations, a shining city upon a hill. The president would listen to uh, all sides of the debate and then he would have to rule one way or the other. Uh, he did it in a way where no one felt that they had been denied an opportunity uh, for a full hearing. Uh, they left the room even uh, after the most divisive debates with everybody really feeling good. One of the things he would do when he thought it was getting a, a little too heated, uh, he would reach over in the middle of the table and grab a jar of jelly beans that was always there, and he would take a jelly bean and then pass it around for the rest of the cabinet. You know, it's very hard to get upset when you're chomp chomping on a jelly bean. <laughs> Think about Nancy Reagan and what a the close, wonderful relationship. His beloved spouse, his advisor, his confidant, she was right there with him and also, of course, her own accomplishments. constant for these last 25 years has been Ronald Reagan, that shining light. Whether it was negotiating with somebody on the hill or telling Mr. Gorbachev to tear down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. You always knew that Ronald Reagan was speaking from conviction and he was going to prevail. He was willing to take risks. And he was willing to take those risks because he had an unbounded belief in the power of democracy, in the power of our way of life and our system. And all he wanted to do was to make that available to others, for them to adopt as they see fit. It was this type of integrity and commitment to principle that made Ronald Reagan such a beloved and popular president. I miss him a lot. He taught America to believe in themselves again. And that was a huge change. Not only was it a change after Vietnam, after Watergate, and after Carter years in the lakes, but it set America uh, back on its feet and said, yes, we can. I hope that, that Reagan spirit of optimism and of confidence that our vision can work everywhere is one that uh, we all have.